Eddie sent you? Greetings, I'm Caffeine Rage, and I'm back with more Shit. Mafia 2. <laughs> Last time, we got screwed over by the checkpoint system as we were trying to save an accountant and his bodyguards. And now we are going to try shooting our way out of here once again. Because, well, we failed last time on the very last guy. Come on. Oh, this does feel a lot more powerful. Let's get that little fuck. And I probably should have been using the Thompson anyway. Yeah, they are. And guess who's next? A lot of guys with a lot of guns are already on their way over. Shit, too late. Here they come. I uh, got an achievement for something there. That's how you do it. Come on out, you little pricks. Well, that was a lot easier. Right what weapon for the right job and well I still nearly got taken out gotta be careful he's around here somewhere one more to go just gotta be careful this time Of course, the NPC is not any help whatsoever. Nice job. Now let's go get that little cocksucker. Knock, knock. Come on. We're gonna get some Thompson uh, machine gun ammo first. Something heavy like a like a battering ram. I know. We'll use that cart. Feeling he's about to die. A well deserved death. Come here, you fuck. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Now, you I'll fucking show you what it feels no, like. No, 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 no. You fucking son of a bitch. I'm gonna have a little fun with Luca before I grind him up. Wanna join me? Thanks for the invitation. I think I'll pass it. Uh, blood, huh? No, just hate the sight of Luca. I hear you, but you're missing out. I think I'm gonna try out that cattle prod he was yapping about. Uh, yeah. Eddie wanted me to take care of him personally. Don't worry about that. It'll just take a little longer this way. This fuck don't deserve a quick death. I can't argue with that. Okay, I'm gonna go. I stink like an outhouse. I gotta get cleaned up. And tell Eddie he don't gotta worry about Luca. Yo, Beans, open the door. It's all over. Oh, boy. You? You're still alive? Yeah. What'd you expect? Look, before we go home, you want to give me a hand with Sleeping Beauty here? You know, that's not such a bad idea. I have a feeling that Beans was in the process of double-crossing them. What car do I want to take, though? Gee... Do I want to take the nice little convertible? Yeah, I want to take the nice little convertible. 
Oh, this feels like it has some get up and go. And since that other car was about out of gas. Actually, my other car's gone. Alright, let's see. Yeah. Bit of a drive. All I'm going to do is I am going to cut this. And of course, I'm going to drop this off at my place. And this will probably be my new go-to car. So, I will see you back at Lucas. Okay, and we're here at the Maltese Falcon, which was a hell of a trip because, well, first of all, I sort of lost the convertible. Well, I have it saved. It's just I, ha I had a bit of an incident with it. Then I got all the way here and realized that, okay, I had to go change clothes. So instead of heading all the way back to my home, which I was already at to save the car, I just ended up buying a new suit. Looks rather dapper, doesn't it? Feels more like a detective outfit than anything else, but I think it will work. So. Hey, Vito, you made it. Hey, Eddie. Oh, nice threads. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan, fellas? What's with the suits? Vito, Mr. Falcone is going to bring us into the family tonight. You and me, we're going to be made. Oh, shit. Tonight? Yeah. Really? Why didn't you tell me before? What do we got to do? You'll find out. But first, there's somebody who'd like to have a little word with you. Leo, good to see you. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, kiddo. I want to talk to you about what's going to happen today. Come here, have a seat. All right. <sighs> sure. And hey, thanks again for doing whatever you did to get me out of the can early. Now I make good on my second promise to you. Second promise? Yeah. I told you the next time... We opened the books, we'd recommend you, didn't I? And now it's done. You had something to do with this? Well, you work for Frank Vinci. Yeah. I would have liked to have had you in our family. But I figured Joe there is your best friend. You guys grew up together. Just like me and Frank. And since Joe was working for Carlo the whole time you were inside, I recommended they take you in too, when you got made. Thanks, Leo. I, I don't know what to say. You don't gotta say nothing. Not to me or anybody else. That's kind of the way this whole thing works, Vito. <laughs> yeah. Now, come on. We don't want to keep him waiting. All right. I'll see you fellows upstairs. What was that all about? Nah, nothing. Just, you know, talking about old times. Like that time when old Leo dropped the soap. Fuck you. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. Let's go. These are like two school kids, I swear to God. All right, wait here. Now listen to me, fellas. It's one at a time. Once you're inside, just do as you're told, okay? Joe, come on in. Hey. Good luck. Your turn, Vito. Gentlemen, this is Vito Scaletta. Vito, know that this family of ours is a secret. You are entering the Society of the Chosen, a society which does not exist to the rest of the world. Our family means more to you from now on than your own family, or God, or your country. If I ask you to kill your own brother, you must do it. Show me. Which finger would pull the trigger? Repeat after me, Vito. If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... May my soul burn in hell, just like this saint. May my soul burn in hell. Just like this saint. Amico Nostra. Gentlemen, I give you our new friend, Vito Scaletta. I 
I am very pleased to have these two talented and honest men join us. And I'm happy this has happened in the presence of our esteemed guests, especially Don Frank Vinci. And his consul You might wonder why I'd take this risk man. again after spending You're almost seven years in a can. You see, where Some I grew up, the only guys who mattered were the guys who had the balls to take what they wanted. You will receive payment for your services from Eddie. Would you like to add anything, Frank? Whatever you do, gentlemen, stay away from the dope. No dope. That's our policy. You can make plenty of money. And after years of doing everybody else's dirty work, too many risks. I was willing to risk anything to finally be somebody. And why are we having a flashback? Is this a flashback or a montage? I guess it's a montage. And a bit of a skip forward. Uh, hello. Hey, Vito. It's Eddie. Hey, Eddie. What's up? I need you to come over to Joe's right now. Yeah, oh, okay. All right, what's happening? I, I can't tell you over the phone. All right, I'll be right there. Yeah, nice place. Should probably get dressed first, though. As soon as we figure out where the other... Oh, there we go. No? Wow, fancy place. A two bath. You would think right here would be where you change clothes, but nope. Yeah. Want to change cars? <laughs> yeah, you can see I had that one beat up a little bit. So we'll take that one and let's. Yeah. We'll jump ahead to our destination. Alright, here we are at Joe's. So let's see what's going on here. It, hopefully the story isn't finally going to be picking up because now we're no longer delivery boys, in theory. I mean, we are in the Mafia, so who knows what could be going on. If it's the same as always, it's on the third floor. Yep. Yeah, I went on with a baseball bat and they looked like they were scared till morning, yesterday. Fellas. Oh, hey, good morning, Vito. Marty, what are you doing here? Joe said you needed help. And since I did good with the greases, he said he'd take me along again. Take you along again for what, exactly? They're waiting for you. Yeah, well, uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Uh, yeah, that's my man Vito. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Falcone. Hiya, Vito. Take a seat. Hey, guys. <sighs> so what's happening? I heard how you got rid of Luca, Vito. Good job. Thanks to you, we now have proof that Clemente was behind the attack on our guys. We couldn't do anything to him openly till now. He just cut his own throat. He kidnapped and tortured our guys, and that means war. 
Anything we do now, I'm going to be able to justify before the commission. Alberto knows this, so he's going to act quickly and try and come after us first. So we're going to take out Clemente. Exactly. Turns out Clemente called a big meeting in the Empire Arms Hotel today. This is our best chance to get rid of him and his top guys. Oh, sure, yeah. We'll just waltz right in there and kill a few dozen heavily armed men in broad daylight in the nicest hotel in town. Is that about right? Don't worry. I got a plan. Shit! Joe, put that thing away. Eddie, don't worry. It's safe. I just gotta For press Christ this. Sake, put it away now. Okay, What's the matter with you? okay. You're such a chicken shit. Okay, okay. So now we're gonna waltz right in and blow up the nicest hotel in town. Isn't that overkill? Don't worry. This thing ain't that powerful. It won't blow up the whole building, but everybody in the room where it goes off is dead meat. How are we gonna know when to detonate it? We'll use a window washing platform. We'll almost be able to watch it explode. Since when are you the smart one? Okay, fellas. I'm counting on you. If all goes well, I'll have something nice for you. When it's over, call Eddie at this number. Oh, by the way, I closed the bar today, just in case Alberto tried something. Hey, good luck, fellas. Hey, what about that kid in the hallway? You mean Marty? Uh, he ain't part of the organization, so he had to wait outside. I mean, why is he here at all? Why do you think? He's going with us because we need a getaway driver and somebody to cover our asses. What do you got against him anyway? I known him since he was a little kid, and he saved my ass with them greases. Yeah, but we're not fighting a bunch of drunk dirtbags this time. We're about to take out the most powerful family in this city, and you're bringing a kid. And how old were you when you started doing this shit? You're talking like you're some old fart. Look, Vito, he's gonna wait in the car outside and drive us away. That's it. He ain't even gonna know what we're doing there. He's a great driver, and that's exactly what we need on this one. Okay, Joe, whatever. But I'm telling you right now, this is a bad idea. Hey, hey, Joe. So, uh, what kind of job is it? The kind you don't need to know about. Oh, okay, but hey, if you need it, I got my piece right here. All right, slow down, Billy the Kid, all right? It's not going to be necessary. Let's just go. Yeah, I'm predicting a bad end for this kid. I probably should be cutting it here, and we'll... Yeah, we'll get in the car, and then we'll pick up next Take time Michael. with the car. All right, with I'll drive. Wait, why am I driving if we're having the kid on to drive? Yeah, just not to ask questions. Alright, we'll pick up here next time. So, until then, thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.